Hello and welcome to another video, people. Before we start, please like, comment, and subscribe if you wish to see more content. Today we're going to be talking about the mental universe and how everything is mental. This is the number one law on the Kabbalion. If you've never read that book, it's called The Kabbalion. A very good book. It's the first law because this is the most important thing you need to understand. Is how everything exists within the mind. Behind every single one of these eyes is the same consciousness expressed in different bodies. The mind is what gives perception to what you're experiencing. Behind every single one of these eyes is the exact same consciousness, but the brain that they inhabit is giving them a different perception, a different being, a different body. Now, this is the difference between uh, humans and animals. Humans possess a advanced consciousness, an advanced mind that gives us the ability to be aware of ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. We can reflect on ourselves. When a dog looks in the mirror or an animal looks in the mirror, it doesn't know what it's looking at. It doesn't realize it has a consciousness. It can't reflect on itself. It can't say, I, can, I want to improve in this area. It doesn't have that consciousness. We have a divine consciousness. Take away the N for divine and you get divine with a D, put it with a D, you get divide, because we have a divided two-way consciousness. An animal only has one. However, it's still the same mind. We're all mind. We're all mental. We all exist within the mental plane. Look at this person walking. The body, the brain, is sending electrical signals through the 12 cranial nerves, which the 12 uh, disciples that spread the gospel of Jesus, right? You have 12 cranial nerves in your brain. There are 12 disciples which spread the gospel of Jesus. Jesus represents the mind, the intelligence, the invisible intelligence that we all are, the same intelligence, the same exact consciousness, which then s sends a command into the brain then the brain sends these twelve, uh, sends uh, these twelve electrical signals through the twelve cranial nerves to control the rest of the body through the nervous system. This person walking is not the body is not walking. The invisible, the mind is telling it to walk, and the brain is the it's a supercomputer which is decoding these these demands given to it by the mind. Because the pineal gland will have something to do with the ether, because the ether is physical and non and non physical. The mind is sending the commands through the ether to the pineal gland, which is then getting broken down into electrical codes within the brain and sent throughout the nervous system to control the body. And this is why in the Sims sim simulation because the body's the simulation it's a false reality it's the fake reality it's not the real you you are formless there is no form but it, the third dimension is a, is a dimension within your mind matter mind light is all a product of your mind it's all in the mind now, this is why The Sims has this green little diamond on top of the head. Because this is you. This is your invisible intelligence controlling the character. Okay? It's, it's controlling the character. And this character is in the world. The, your consciousness isn't in the world. The world exists within your within you. But the body is a vehicle for that realm. For that realm that you land in. When you have a dream, your, your mind transcends this body into another body, duplicates your body, 
into another universe, universe, unite, you, unite is one, we're all one, it's all one universe, expressed in many different ways, infinitely, and the vehicle that you land in is the body, to con- to operate in that realm, this is the all seeing eye, as you see here, the eye, this is all the intelligence, this is the ball of consciousness, God, expressed in different bodies we're all this same one in different bodies as you can see here and this this intelligence is uh, expressing infinitely throughout the universe an infinite universe it's, there's no beginning no end there was no beginning of the universe there is no end it's infinite always has and always will but the mind is what is what gives you the ability to explore the universe, to make perception of it. We are God in disguise. We are God in disguise. We are God in flesh. But the body can become attached. To the, the mind can become attached to the body if the mind doesn't is not aware of itself when the mind is 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 that blinded by matter and we lack knowledge and understanding of what we truly are a formless infinite being a traveler this is why freemasons are called freemasons mason means traveler free you're a free traveler because you, your your consciousness is a traveler of the universe. Uh, when we lack understanding, our mind bounds to the body because we 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 don't separate the body with our with our different layers of consciousness. When we when we separate them and identify that we are mind, body, emotion. You then can apply this knowledge to when you want to astral travel and explore the different realms of your mind. Because the mind is the universe. People, this is what we need to understand. The mind is the universe. I am you and you are me. This is the Egyptian showing you this. The onk. The onk is the symbol of life. This is the one ball of consciousness, mind, ex- giving it the onk life to all the different life forms, the you know the cows, the the birds, the snakes, and the big onk given to the humans because the humans are the most intelligent. We invest the we 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 have the most advanced consciousness. We have the most advanced consciousness. This is why the, the, the one is giving a big on to the humans here. Here you see again, this is not the sun. This is also showing onk giving out its life to all things infinitely. And this is the most high. We We are the most high in disguise. When we strip off the body we strip off the desires for the physical world we strip off all of these fake identities that the mind gets attached to that is god the the universe you are the universe experiencing itself i and i the letter i and the number one is just one line. The letter I is the number one. Because your I, your I am, when you refer to yourself as I, every single one of you who's watching this video refers to yourself as I, which is the one. We are all the one. We are all intelligence. We are all invisible. We are all the one. One is the only number. One, two, three. Everything goes up in ones because there is only one. 
doesn't matter how far you go down the line with numbers, all of their numbers are created by one because there is only one. To me and you are the exact same consciousness expressed in different bodies. Mind. Cause. There is only one cause. There is only one mind. There is only one being. But, we're, but because we lack understanding of this, we think we are the bodies. And this causes div division because the, the physical world is the most illusionary world. It's an illusion. It's all an illusion. Now you see with the two, you, you look with the two eyes, but you see with the inner eye, the mind. Okay. The mind is a, the mental plane is a shared plane. And it gives perception to what you're looking at, the mind. Uh, I am affecting you when I speak. Because the mental plane is shared. We all share mind. We all express mind. When I'm speaking to you, I'm affecting you because we are mind. So the words that I'm saying, which are being manifested from my mind, are being manifested through my body, into vibration is affecting you. I'm affecting you with what I'm saying. And these words are having an effect on your mind because we're all mind. This is why you need to be careful what you're listening to, music and all sorts. Because music can also create thought loops within your mind. Because the chorus, the, we shouldn't list, be listening to choruses. Choruses are loops. And what they're saying in the chorus is being looped. And this can create thought loops within your mind. Go and listen to an old song that you used to listen to about five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Go and listen to an old song. And you guess what? You will, you will get nostalgia. Why will you get nostalgia? Because that song will trigger the thoughts that you were thinking in that time of listening to that song. So songs with choruses create thought loops and they reprogram your subconscious mind. It's important why music is, is very powerful. Mind and mind, same word. See, language is the truth, people. This is why I use language in all of my presentations, especially the English language. It's, it's riddled with occult truth. I... I is is my, my me, I, you and me or I, one. We are we are not the name, we are I. Every single one of you is I because we are all the one, all mind. Now the only thing that is truly mine is my mind. When you say something is mine, it's an illusion. It's not yours. The only thing that is mine is mind, my mind. Okay? It's my mind. It's the only thing. It's the same word, mine and mind. Like I said before, everything's one. Hot and cold is different degrees of the same thing, of the one substance of degrees. The seven colors are different frequencies of the one white light. Everything is one. There is only one. We are all one. Everything is one. Hot, cold, day, night. It's the same degree of one, which is mind. The mind's perception is what's giving it, labeling it hot or cold. The mind's perception of colors is what is giving it red or purple hot or cold there is only mind the mind gives things perception there is only one that is mind the conscious and the subconscious mind the male and the female these are married the subconscious mind is 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 your hidden part of the mind 
Okay, it's 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 hidden. You it you can't re- you can access it through through different meditations and, and Reiki teachings and uh, dreams or manifestations of your subconscious. This is how this is how you know mind and matter are one because your mind creates matter in dreams. Your subconscious manifests everything in a dream in in the astral realms. The conscious is what you're conscious of, what you're consciously thinking of. You're, 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 so me, I am conscious that I am speaking into this mic and creating this video. My subconscious mind is, is the hidden part of the mind, which is speaking to my heart, telling it to beat. It's telling my food to digest. It's regulating all my blood. It's doing everything in my body without me being conscious of it. Without me being conscious. The subconscious is the feminine. The conscious is the male. The Bible, of course. Proverbs 12.4 Helpful not, helpful and excellent wife is the crown of her husband. But she who brings shame is like rottenness in his bones. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. It's met- you can take that physically, you can take that literally, or you can take it metaphysically. See, the Bible's written in such a way where you can take it as your level of realization. He who loves him, his wife loves himself. If you love your subconscious, if you love yourself, you speak good about yourself because your, sub- your subconscious takes everything literally. If you say, I hate you to someone, your subconscious does not know the difference between me and someone else. It only thinks me, me, me. Why? Because mind is the only thing that exists. You are mind. I am mind. If I say, I hate you, you're saying that to yourself. Your subconscious picks that up and says, I hate myself. And that's telling your subconscious that's what you want. Because your subconscious manifests 90% of your behavior. The programs within your subconscious, tying your shoelace is a program. You, you don't need to be conscious of it. You can just do it because it's a program. It's, it's deeply interwoven in the subconscious. Driving your car, texting on your phone. You don't have to think about what letter. You just do it because you know where the letters are. It's a program. Therefore, if you if you look after your subconscious, they are married. They are a married couple. It's your wife. Your subconscious is your wife. And it manifests 90% of your daily basis thought patterns, actions, behaviors, emotions, all the things that you, you, you all the trauma that you've, you've experienced is stored within your subconscious which is affecting you. So let's say you were in a, in a car crash 10 years ago and you had a really traumatic event. You really hurt yourself and you had a very, very, very strong emotion that you felt of, of pain. That will still affect you today. And why? Because it will manifest into your behavior. How? Well, you'll be cautious of what cars to go in and who you'll be cautious because of that event that's stored within your subconscious, because of that feeling you felt was so painful and so strong, it's still manifesting into your behavior today. For example, you won't go in certain cars, you won't go with certain drivers. Subconscious stores everything, all your memories, the programs and everything. So if you trick your subconscious, that's how you manifest your, your life. It's a trick the subconscious. You already have something. And therefore, it will manifest into your life and into your behavior, thoughts, and actions. This is why the golden rule is to treat others like you want to be treated. Because I am you and you are me. We are all subconscious. We, we all have subconscious. Whatever I do to you, I do to me. Because my subconscious picks that up. And thinks I'm speaking to me. Mind is very powerful. 
Whatever I do to you, I do to me. Treat others like you want to be treated. The golden rule, that is the only rule we need in this realm, in the universe. If everyone understood this rule and how the subconscious works and how karma works, we would all we'd live in heaven on earth, the Garden of Eden, the golden age. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, 7. Where your heart is, there will be your treasure. Your heart to the emotions. This is the, the storehouse of emotions is where you feel emotions. You have to let your emotions move through you, not become you. You can't let your emotions become you. But except be like the sky and let them pass through you. Be like the clouds and the stars passing over. Let them pass through you. Do not let them become you. And this is how it, emotions can take over your mind. We are driven by, when a man is driven by emotions, he has no self to control. You must control the mind because the mind can be corrupted. Because your thoughts are electrical in the brain. Your thoughts come from the mental plane. So how the mind works is that you, you place your attentions on something in the mind and in, infinite information just flows in. Think about it. When you think of a certain topic, as soon as you think of that topic, information comes flying into your mind. Different ideas, ping, ping, ping. It's a big, it's all connected. It's why we call it a mindset. Because your mind sets free, sets sets itself to frequencies, and when we think of something, we tap into that frequency, and just the universe, the, the mind, the mental plane, just flows in information based on that frequency and that thought. The universe is just information. All of the information out there, nothing is new. It's all there. You just have to tap into it. You can tap into these different thoughts and it's all there. Everything already exists within the mental plane. You don't think anything. You receive thoughts. We all share the mental plane. We affect each other. I'm affecting you. Speaking, listening to me is affecting your, your mental plane, your mind. The physical plane is the lowest plane. It's the world of effect. Everything you see in the physical plane is the effect of mind. Like I said, the person walking is a, is the effect of their mind telling the body to walk. The physical plane is the lowest dimension of your mind. Mother Earth, we are in the, the a mother. We're in the womb still. It, the Earth is 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 feminine. It looks after you. It provides you with food for free. It grows on trees with water. It's Mother Earth. It's the womb. The, the, the dome above your head is, is the, your mother's belly. Okay? It's your mother's belly. You're in the womb still. You're forever in the womb because your mind's constantly expanding. Because when, when, when the baby... When the baby's mind figures out that there is a, a reality outside of its mother, it starts to hear the people on outside of its mother, what does it do? It figures a way out of the mother. And it, and it, it becomes born again in the water, in a hospital, into the other world. It's the same with our minds. When our minds figure out there is other worlds beyond this physical we explore them, the astral plane, for example. You figure a way out of the body. Because when you're the firmament, look at the word firmament, meant at the end. Firm is firm, something strong, something uh, like a rock is firm. If your mind is firm like a rock, you will be stuck under the firmament. So, for example, people who are very programmed and can't think outside the box, 
they have a firm mind and they'll be stuck under the firmament because your mind is the only thing that's keeping you under the firmament. It's the only thing. When you're doomed, doom is dome. This is the dome, which is your head. Your head is the dome. Above your head, above, above the earth is the dome, the ethereal barrier. But that's just an external manifestation of your of your of your head. You don't leave the earth; you leave your body to leave the earth, because your body is the earth. It's a it's a dimension within your mind. So when you're doomed, you're doomed. Your reality is your level of realization. You realize something. Realize. Or when you have an idea, I, the mind, I and the I, E Y E or I, same thing, mind, it's all mind. Reality is your level of realization. You realize as other worlds, that's your reality. Your perception's your reality. Mind in Latin is men, men's. Jesus was known as the fisher of men, which is the fisher of minds. He was fishing minds worthy of knowing the higher truth, the, 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 the deeper occult knowledge. Jesus figured out that we are all God. And he got killed for it because in that age, they were trying to suppress his information. Jesus figured out he was God because we are all God, every single one of you, and they killed him. Because we're all mind. We are not the body. We're the invisible intelligence, which is God. But you are not God if your mind is attached to this physical world, to the worldly pleasures. If you master your mind and travel the depths of your mind, that is God. Mental and men. Look at the word mental. It has men in it. Men in the Bible means mind. Here you see Masonic. The Masonic symbol with the eye, the mind. Looking over everything is the one. Everything comes from the one. Look at all the lines coming off it. Giving its life to all of the life forms. Down here on the bottom you have duality. Black and white up here, you have singularity. One and the two. Unification and division. The lower self is divided into the left and the right. So the Bible even says, I forgot what verse it is, but it says, it's better to go through life with one eye than to have two and be cast into the fiery, into the fiery beast of hell. I'm not sure what verse it is, but you can research it yourself. It's better to go through life with one eye, to be unified. Unified consciousness. Dimension. <laughs> no brainer. No brainer. The, the language tells you the truth, people. Dimension. The dimensions are in your men, your mind. Entertainment. Entertain the mind. Disappointment. It's all in the mind. Environment. The environment that you are in is a, pro is a product of your mind. Within, rearrange spells high twin. Within is your mind and your external world is mirrored from the decisions you make in your mind. Advertisement. Commitment, it's all meant, it's all mind, everything is mind. Everything. So, this is important. The collective thoughts and collective beliefs. Uh, the collective, because we all share the mental plane. And because of this, this is why we are in a weakened state of consciousness at the moment. 
because the collective thoughts and the collective minds over, overall are asleep and they don't believe in anything. You see, everything is, is true within the mind. You think of something, it is there in, instantly. You think of a chair, it's there in your mind. You think of anything, it's there instantly. So everything's true within the mind. Anything can happen in the mind. Anything can happen on the physical plane if the collective consciousness, the collective minds, believe it to be true. This is why back in the days, in the ancient days, you look at the old you look at all the old world stuff, you see all this crazy technology and it's because as a collective as humanity back then they believed that they had much more open minds therefore the things manifested in the physical world were a lot more out of the box so to say compared to today for example magic is not as powerful today because the masses don't believe in it. It's still powerful, don't get me wrong, but if the masses believed, or if everyone knew magic could be real, because it is anything to real in the mind, it would be a lot more powerful. You see? So the collect... And what they're trying to do is create a hive mind worldwide. They're trying to make one religion, an external god, what happens when you worship something external? You give energy to it because where attention goes, energy flows. Where your mind gives attention to, energy goes there. And when, when we all believe in external gods and give our worship and our power to these external things, we all give energy to it, which will manifest as a demon in the astral planes. It's a hive mind. They're trying to make a hive mind to summon our, our energy trying to summon our energy and it through mind through collective uh, thoughts the hive mind they want one religion one government one currency one belief system and that will create a hive mind which will limit our consciousness which will limit what we can do in the physical world because if everyone doesn't believe in certain things, it cannot happen because it's all in mind. Mind is so powerful. I am you and you are me. I hope you all enjoyed this video, people. If you haven't already, join the Wisdom Academy. The Wisdom Academy, we have a many occult lectures just like this one. Also, we have just launched Mindwave Hub. If you want genuine frequencies, genuine binaural beats because the ones on YouTube, the ones on Spotify, Apple Music, they're all tuned to A440 Hertz, which shuts down the right hemisphere of the brain. If you want to look, if you want to gain access to your true consciousness, your mind, you need to balance the two hemispheres and balance the chakras. You can do that externally by listening to binaural beats. If you want true frequencies, True binaural beats to hemisync the chakras, hemisync the, the, the brain to gain access to the different dimensions of your mind. Well, you can gain access anyway, but it's going to help you if you're trying to learn this. Join Mindwave Hub. The link will be in the description. Listen to the binaural beats, meditate to them, listen to when you go to sleep. They'll massively benefit you. Thank you all, people. Hope you had an amazing you know, lesson. Hope you learned a lot. And please subscribe. God bless you all.